the simplest way I could explain this is throughout history, same thing Ray Dalio talks about. You could just say, if if a money could be corrupted for some people's gain that was over some people's expense, negative, positive externalities, negative externalities, um, it will be. Not it might be. It will be for sure, and history proves it. Seizing of gold, uh, uh, changing of, uh, of the rules of gold, history proves that that will happen always. And it's because human nature is inside that state. We care about ourselves first rather than some far off land. And so, so we will do that. Humans will do that if a money can be controlled. And Bitcoin is the only thing that I've see, seen that removes that temptation or power from us, our human nature, to compete against other people. And, and, and it's kind of a profound thing because it moves global competition to global cooperation and a, sh a different shelling point um, and, 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 and assuming that stays true, Bitcoin remains decentralized, which I suspect it will, um, and, and then it's out of the hands of people to be able to manipulate it. That decentralization and taking that money out of control of human nature means we're forced to cooperate. Mm -hmm. And, and in, la in labor, we, we often miss that the buyer and seller are actually the same person. Mm -hmm. So all of our labor shows up as somebody buying our labor. Mm -hmm. and, but, but because we miss that, so we, we miss that we can use Zoom now for effectively free. And that removed a whole bunch of other businesses because, because now that, our, that message can transfer, touch millions of people all over the world essentially for, uh, for free. Um, and yet we don't want prices to fall over. We want our house prices to go up forever. Yet all the things we choose in our lives, we want more value in. Mm -hmm. So we miss that it's the same thing, right? All of our labor is somebody else's buying and, and so we, but we, but we want all of our things we choose to go down in price, yet we want our assets to go up in price. And, and that's because of the system that wouldn't look like that system. Prices of housing would fall to the utility value. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't be used as a store of value in a, in a market that, that didn't that would require leverage and leverage and leverage. And, and so, so all of these prices as technology removed labor would fall in, in lockstep. That's why I say it would be the most, the broadest distribution of tech. Winners would, we would still compete to create products. We would still create, to create great, great technology. That, and the only way to win would be to delivering value to somebody else in their terms. That's the only way to get more Bitcoin mm -hmm. um, in their terms. And, as, and, the, and, the, and the, what would happen out of that is prices would fall. Everybody would win. Mm -hmm. So that's the world we're moving to. It's going to be chaotic on the way on the way there. If you're if you're living in Bitcoin, if you're managing your world in Bitcoin right now, what you're seeing is prices against Bitcoin fall forever. Mm -hmm. Every price falls forever. But if you're measuring your world in a in, in a fiat currency, you're thinking prices are going to rise forever.